Good morning and welcome to Geology Hikes with Thomas. Today's hike will be up at the Hurricane Bench. That's the bench up here you can see here, it's horizontal. We'll be looking at some interesting features there and uh, have a good hike and beautiful views. Hurricane Mesa is on top of this thick sandstone layer. West Temple Zion here, down the town of Virgin, that's Gooseberry Mesa, swinging around. I parked the car, this is the start of the hike. Before we get underway, I want to show this interesting, colorful banded rocks we have. Originally, it was deposited as volcanic ash. Offshore were a string of volcanoes, a volcanic arc. They spit out ash, which was deposited here. It was deposited in, in a lake. The water reacts with the ash and forms a clay, bentonite. It's also called, referred to as blue clay. It has the nasty property to swell up when it's wet and uh, so if you build on it you're in big trouble. People have done that and still doing it. So let's have a close look, see how it feels. It's clearly dry, it hasn't rained here for weeks. You can see the, the ground is all cracked up here. Let's see if you can grab a piece here. Yeah, that's the blue clay. Pretty hard, muddy, it's much muddy, but it crumbles very easily as well. So yeah, now you have seen blue clay. You can see it up there. You can see it in the back here. Well, this looks like an interesting sandstone. There's holes in it, different size, different shapes. Looks a little bit like the surface of Mars. Well, time for a short break to enjoy the view. We are looking here southwest, going towards west. At the horizon are the, is the Arizona Strip. Back of those mountains is the Grand Canyon. If you look around here, oh, sometimes you come across some petrified wood chips. Well, sometimes they just look like wood. Oh, here we have one. That's petrified wood. Here you can see quite a bit. So probably sometimes buried along is a tree trunk or a bigger piece. Well, that's one which has vandalized here. I have gotten off the ATV track and follow here a wash, which brings me closer to one of the promontories. I want to go out. <sighs> this is another interesting look. Look all the fossils in here. Looks like plant fossils. Maybe it's a dinosaur again. We don't know. Well, let's not get our hopes up here. Yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> here, I guess somebody tried to make a petrified wood fire here. East Temple comes into view. Gorgeous hike up here along the edge of this promontory. Old river pebbles, pieces of petrified wood. Looks like a little desert garden here. Chipped wood, oh, pretty large log here, kind of hidden away. This is too far from pe for people to dig it out and carry it along, but uh, you never know. The ridge is goes out to the promontory, so you can see both sides. Just a gorgeous view. Impressive erosions here in the Lower Triassic Formation. Zion getting closer in the back there. Gorgeous. A nice panorama towards the north. You see the little white spots there right in the center. That's the glamping camp, camping on the canvas for people who like to be outdoors. Down here we have some more pieces that fell down, I guess. This one goes all the way down in the shade towards the other side. There's some more down here. Look at the beautiful colors of the lichens. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you swing around, I always like to swing around. You can see again. Zion Kolob, road up to Kolob. It's a different part of Zion, it's not the main part, but it's gotten popular as well. Look at that guy. Looks just like it's still alive here. Pretty cool. Here as well. And here is my favorite piece I was looking for. Look at this branch sticking out. Still half a attached to the stem here. Well, we are back down. I hope you enjoyed this hike. And I hope to see you next time again. Thank you and goodbye.